for me, it's kind of like, don't sit there and then constantly be like, she's my wife, I can talk about her all I want. She's my wife, she's my wife, she's my wife. Well, looking at that video, that's my husband. That's my husband. He's slapping some girl, that's my husband. We're still married, he's still married, I'm still married. What I'm saying is two wrongs don't make a right. So, with that being said, this is the last time I'm talking about him on social media. Yeah, yes, they are still together. Uh, just went drop her off there because they're filming in the morning. Gypsy's going to be a phenomenal mom. I have no doubt. I mean, we've had her, some serious discussions, her and I, and, you know, she, I'm going to tell you all like this. She knows what not to do. No, they did not break up. Somebody put it on a banner, on a forehead, something. They did not break up. I wish I could run a banner across this like you can on StreamYard that says they did not break up. This has been the craziest mess. I mean, they're so, and this is what I'm saying. I mean, when people make up these rumors and these lies just for clicks and views. Right. But they are very well aware that they have a snake in their midst. Yes, we very well. And like I said, I... Hi friends, it's Katie from Without a Crystal Ball. Welcome back to my channel. It's Tuesday, October, Tuesday, November 19th. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Gypsy Rose Blanchard is in the middle of yet another mess and I'm here to try to clean some of it up. Not for her, but for all of those confused. And so many of you have been begging for a Gypsy update, so I have one for you. There's been a flurry of output recently from Gypsy regarding a baby shower, a possible breakup, her her suddenly leaving social media to a couple videos she made in response to her ex-husband, Ryan, where she made it seem as though she was trying to get Ryan's attention and was saying that she was cool with Ryan moving on, but she just wanted things to stop, but she shoots shots at him and he shoots shots at her. And then she referred to him as her husband and it was weird. She uploaded a video where she did a talking overhead thing. I don't know how TikTok works. And it was all about, she knows she's been a bad girl, and but you know you want to take me back, which everyone believes was Gypsy sending a message to Ryan, her ex-husband. Well, not yet. They're still married. Their court date is set for December. But the real tea is that all of this is a huge diversion because Gypsy is yet again on social media, using her friends to harass people in their community, and it's taken extreme levels, and it's gotten to a point where the individual that is local to her has made trips to the parole office locally in Louisiana, contacted Missouri, and provided evidence, and has even spoken to supervisors. So anytime Gypsy is in a pickle, New rumors come out to distract from the actual bad stuff that's going to happen. And Gypsy's in trouble. Now, is Gypsy going to go back to prison? No. She's pregnant. Missouri doesn't want her back. Housing her as a pregnant inmate would be very challenging. They're, they can. They'd prefer not to. They will try to take measures that are less restrictive. We know that Gypsy got in trouble in July for similar reasons of being bad on social media, we know that Gypsy has been told previously that she needs to get off social media by her parole officer. And so people were shocked when on Friday, she updated her TikTok to claim that she was taking a break. She would no longer be posting any content. Her post says, I will no longer be posting personal content on this public platform. Since I was released, I have shared with supporters my hardships and achievements through the lens of social media. However, I find myself at a crossroads that leads me to desire a more private life, sharing with only family and close friends 
these special moments. I greatly appreciate all the support and anyone who has ever stood by my side. I will keep posting updates on my new memoir, My Time to Stand, as well as our seasons with Lifetime TV. So she's going to be private, but have a reality show. Mm -hmm. In addition to this public account, I have a private TikTok and Instagram, Cajun Heart of Mine, and will only accept requests from those I personally know. This decision was made with consideration to the well-being of my own mental health, that as well as the overall well-being of my family and daughter. We are doing very well and are in good spirits, excited for our futures moving forward. So Gypsy claims that after considerable thought, she is going to make her life private, but she's really not, really not. She's not going to make her life private. She's going to profit off of a TV show and a book. Her life will not be private. She will be putting it all out there. Lifetime has a contract with her for this season. Now, publicly, Gypsy has said she's not going to have her daughter on TV. So I'm assuming this is going to be their last season, right? Because she said her daughter would not be public, right? Didn't we say that? Okay, so she's push, She's pointing this out as though she's doing this for her own mental health. At the same time that she posted this, she also posted about how she was a victim of cyberbullying and that because of the cyberbullying that she was experiencing, she said, if you think tea is just girl talk or harmless chatter, it's actually called cyberbullying. Cyberbullying comes in the form of posting rumors and spreading gossip. These types of cyberbullying usually result in other people changing their opinions about individuals based on the rumors spread. Here's the problem with Gypsy is that she wants she wants the benefits of being a public figure, the money and the attention, but then she doesn't want anyone to talk about the discrepancy. Gypsy is actually part of the problem for rumors spreading because she spreads them herself. But that's not here nor there. So she walks into coming out of social media by claiming she's a victim of cyberbullying. And listen, there's definitely people that take things too far. And there are absolutely people that spread rumors and gossip. But that's the internet. And cyberbullying is not being a content creator commenting on a public figure on a public platform. Spreading rumors and gossip in cyberbullying would be falling in maliciously spreading false information about someone to hurt them. And in the case of most content creators, they're not trying to hurt Gypsy. They're just trying to tell the truth. So she has set the stage that she is yet again a victim of someone else. She was a victim of her mom. She was a victim of Nicholas Godijan. She was a victim of her ex-husband, Ryan. She's a victim of cyberbullies. It's always somebody else's fault. Gypsy is a narcissist. At least that's my opinion. I think she might be a sociopath, but I'm not a psychologist. So why did she actually go pot private? And why did the minute she go private, did suddenly a rumor spread that she and Ken broke up? The timing happened almost instantaneously. She went private on a Friday. And by Saturday, Nina was claiming that Ken and Gypsy broke up with no proof. And has since been said that they didn't break up. Both Ken and Gypsy have said they haven't broken up. Christy says they haven't broken up. And they were at a baby shower over the weekend. Regardless of all of that, there's no denying that Ken and Gypsy's relationship is not rosy. It is not peachy. It is not perfect. They fight. They are dysfunctional. Gypsy's a mess. Ken is a mess. And they are messy. My experience with Ken and Gypsy and the family when I knew them, I didn't directly interact with Ken. But to say that that relationship is stable is false. To say that they will have a long lasting relationship would be false. Back in July, most people in the family didn't even think they'd make it until the baby was born. That's how deeply the, the problems are in this relationship. But getting excited about them breaking up, that apparently got a lot of views. And it also distracted from what was really happening. And so no one is now talking about why did Gypsy go private in the first place? Now people are only talking about did Ken and Gypsy break up, which really is irrelevant. Who cares? In the grand scheme of what she's done in her life, failed relationships is not high on my list of issues. But this is what she does. She likes to have nonsense or inconsequential rumors put out there so that you don't Think about the fact that there's some issues going on currently on social media that have gotten her in trouble. 
The only times Gypsy has gone private or scaled back her social media has been when she has gotten in trouble with her parole. Parole trouble doesn't mean that you go back to prison. Parole trouble doesn't mean that you even get house arrest. It can be, you know what? What's going on here? You need to cool it. And I want you to get off social media because you're getting a lot of phone calls. This behavior is unacceptable and we need to calm things down. She's already been told multiple times to get off social media by her parole. So why was she suddenly on Friday pulling her social media down? Well, it could be, and it's just spitballing, but a woman that is local to Gypsy named Ivory Rose grows, not Ivory Rose knows, Woo Woo Bestie, who's down in the bayou, has been talking about Gypsy on her platform for a while. Of course, because this woman has information and knows how Gypsy's family works and knows that they plant sources and they, they spread rumors and she knows that they use diversion tactics and she knows that they're constantly attacking people to try to keep their narrative going to keep things profitable. Because if you ever know, if you knew the actual truth about the Blanchards or about Gypsy, no one would give a crap about her and you'd want her to go away, but most people do anyway. But she has been fighting with this family for about a month and she's been documenting it on her TikTok. Christy is mad as hell. You hear me? I heard Christy is big mad, big mad, big mad. So what was actually right in that video was that Krusty is big mad, but the story of them breaking up, that's not why she's big mad, okay? That's not why. Um, what is happening is they're taking what is what they're being made to do right now because of what happened to me, right? <clears throat> and they added in a rumor as to why she had to do that. Now, Krusty's big mad. Yeah, she's big mad, but she's big mad at me. That's all everybody's talking about right here on the bayou is what happened to me. And she is losing her goddamn mind over the situation. That's why she's big, 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 big mad. That's why. Let's get the entirety of the story, okay? Because the what's really going on is they big fucking mad at me about what's going on over here. She got in trouble and they're losing their shit because of yours truly. That's what's going on. That's the actual story. And that's what's being said around here. Not that they broke up. But carry on. Have a good day. At times, she's highly emotional. She comes off a little bit overwhelmed, angry, frustrated. But Christy Blanchard told people on a live stream, this woman doesn't live in the bayou. Show me the receipts. So the woman got into her car and drove to cut off because that's where she works. And she, while there, drove past Gypsy's house filming so that they would know she lived there. She didn't go up to the door. She didn't call Gypsy out. She didn't stop at all. She just drove down the street. Apparently, this made Gypsy scared and she had to call someone to come pick her up. Meanwhile, Ivory had no clue that she was home She because she didn't stop. There was no one even there. And she didn't even know that Christy wasn't there. She didn't know that Gypsy was home alone. Once this happened, Gypsy's friends, which is her like idiots that are following her blindly. She has this like pocket of friends on the internet that she's basically are the next Nicholas go to John's. They're the ones that are going to commit the crimes for her. And she's going to say she didn't do it. One of her friends whose name is Rogi, threatened to roll up on Ivory with his pew pew, his gun. And he was going to roll up on her, man up, use it. He said that on a live stream later after saying that. And after Ivory hearing that she called him out for it. Then he scaled it back and said, I didn't mean it that way. I mean, I do have a pew pew, but I'm not going to use it on you. But he was so enraged by the false statements that Gypsy made about Ivory that he believed he would need to hurt Ivory and he wasn't afraid to use a gun on her. This is how she escalates people. Next, still enraged that, that a local knows what's going on with Gypsy and has the quote unquote tea and won't let their games be played. Her friend Bree admits to getting in a car with Gypsy and driving by Ivory's work. Bree claims that they drove by accidentally and they just happened to see this place because of a shirt that Ivory wore. After that. Okay. And now she's saying something about 
you saying something about riding by her job, all you did was, like, you just know where her job is. No, you passed by and you I, said. I've seen her work because um, she wears her work shirt like an idiot on lives. And when me and Gypsy went to the went somewhere and we were driving past, it's like, oh, my God, that's the place that's on, you know, Woo Woo's shirt. Y'all heard that. The huh? shirt that she wore wasn't her work, and her work doesn't have a sign, according to Ivory. So they knew exactly where they were going and they were looking for her. Gypsy then makes a threat on her on her TikTok during a live and says, you know, I'm not gonna be on parole forever. Once I will be on parole, I'll be able to defend myself. So in the span of a couple of weeks, Christy taunts a woman to show her receipts. The woman then shows the receipts. And then they go on a campaign to harass the woman and try to find her and then threaten to hurt her, all because she's a content creator talking about them online. Gypsy and Bree apparently are casing down the girl. Rogi is threatening to shoot her. And finally, Ivory, under a lot of stress because of the ongoing live streams about her and the videos being made about her, reports all of this to Gypsy's parole officer last week. Gypsy's parole officer was notified last week about what was happening. Gypsy went private the next day after she said, after she was reported to parole. Is that a coincidence? And then she framed it like she was the victim of cyberbullying when she was casing down a woman, had a friend threaten to shoot her, and had a friend driving her by this woman's work. The only reason they're going after this woman is because this woman happens to be a local that is reporting on what the public is saying about her and the games that these people are playing and the danger that they remain to the public. But Gypsy and her friends and the family don't want people to know whatever Ivory's truth is. And you know what? The stuff that Ivory says, she says that they plant stories they spread false gossip. They do. They 100% do. I know for a fact. They told me they do it. Christy got off on giving false information to people so that they would report it to make them look stupid. Or she would give half truths to creators so that they would feel important in order to get a better story out about Gypsy to cover up a bad one. When Gypsy starts getting bad press, they have to somehow try to make her a victim. That's what they've been doing for 10 years. And that's what they're doing right now. So Gypsy has been reported to parole for, for these threats and for the stalking of this woman because they taunted this woman to come out. And she did. And then when she did, they then have been on a weeks-long campaign harassing her, driving by her house, driving by her work, and threatening to shoot her. Now I ask you, why is Gypsy private on social media? It's I guarantee you this is a directive from parole or it's preemptive knowing that she's going to get in trouble with parole. Is she going to go back to prison? No. Will she likely get in trouble? No. Will she get arrested? Probably not. But that's why all of this is out there, because this is what they do. Anytime there's a bad story of Gypsy behaving badly with her friends, a bomb is dropped, like and Dri Gypsy broke up, because they don't want you to talk about what she's actually doing, which is acting a fool and causing problems. They get off, literally. They watch all the videos that creators make. They think it's funny when they say and report bad information. They think it's comical to give bad stories to people and then watch them lose their credibility. They get off on it. They find it hysterical. I used to get text threads about it. They don't want you talking about Gypsy and her friends cause sending threats Having a friend threaten to shoot someone. I don't know about you, but that seems pretty serious over TikTok reporting. Gypsy Rose Blanchard spreads lies about people, gets people riled up, and has unhinged followers and supporters that do not care about the truth that will defend her because she's in danger. Who did she do that to? Who else did she do that to? Oh, Nicholas, go to John. That's right. Convincing him. About her mom, right? Because she needed to be saved from her mom that was really sick, practically dying. She spreads lies and gets people motivated to hurt other people. That's what she does. And that's why she's not online, in my opinion. And I don't care when a 
if Ken and Gypsy ever break up because they will. And of course, it'll be a mess because they're not happy. It's a it's all fake. She's a mess. He's a mess. Their relationship's a mess. It'll be a mess. Focus on the truth that Gypsy continues to be a danger and she got in trouble with parole. And that's why she's no longer online. What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed and click the bell so you never miss a video. Bye everyone.